Welcome back, everybody. Hi, Hal. Hi, Al. So you take the time to pack these healthy lunches for your kids, but you might be making them sick anyway. That's right. The culprit could actually be your child's lunchbox. And join us now with more is Dr. Shilpi Agarwal with an eye-opening look at what you may be sending to school with your child's lunch. Good to see yes. you. Good morning, you guys. This mm. was eye-opening. In the essence included. of full disclosure, this includes yes. your own child's lunchbox, exactly. right? Exactly. So coming straight from the doctor, you guys, no one is exempt here. The thing with these lunch boxes and all this reusable stuff is that we're trying to do better, but we seldom clean any of these fabrics. We right. put things like fruits and vegetables, which carry their own bacteria, and also they can make us sick with things like diarrhea, uh, constipation, oh. you can start feeling vomiting, and even skin infections. Okay, okay. so let's uh, really show people what you're talking about. Okay, so I swabbed my own son's lunchbox here, and this is an example of one of those reusable type mm -hmm, of bags mm -hmm. that we always take, throw our sandwich in there. I swabbed it, and you guys, this is what I got. Out the middle of it. one? So, the middle one. The this worst looking one? Things like mold, spores, mm. E. coli, and fecal bacteria as well. So, anything and everything is fair game in these lunch boxes. And the main reason wow. is that we have the fruits and vegetables, but they leak bacteria. Bacteria is really everywhere, mm -hmm. but the problem is these lunch boxes make a very prime environment because they're damp, and they're, they're dark, up. and they're moist. See, this aggravates me so bad. I was just talking to these ladies about this before we went on because when I was originally packing my child's lunch, I put it in a brown paper bag, right. you know, little Ziploc bags, everything that can be thrown away, and I was like, mm -hmm. Got the glare, right? Mm. You need to be using reusable containers. Right. You need to be saving the environment. And while right. I understand there, there's got to be a little bit of balance here, when we just threw everything away, I didn't have this problem. Didn't have that. And you're absolutely right. For the brown paper bags, are much more sanitary. But if you are going to use any of this reusable stuff, the two main ways to help you first, a lot of hand washing. We're finding with all the bacteria that we're isolating that it's probably because people aren't washing their hands before they actually prepare the their child's the, lunch. Oh, oh you and, and your child. The little ones, exactly. Okay. Making sure that your child at school is washing their hands before they sit down for lunch. Because if they go to the bathroom and then go mm. eat their lunch, there's a lot of contaminants. And Wash out your lunch bag say, once a week and wipe it down every day with antibacterial wipes. Okay. Really? Because okay. I would think the antibacterial would get on the apple and then that would be a problem because you're like eating that. Yeah, but if you wipe it soap out and, water. and let it air overnight, mm -hmm. then you've really okay. eliminated that residue. See, now I want to like put it in the dishwasher on sanitize yes. and like right. kill everything. Well, speaking of dishwasher and sanitize, it's probably what we should be doing with this water bottle. But we've got Chris's water bottle right here. Producer Chris, in full disclosure. And then the lunchbox provided by Matt. Another and producer. And swab mm -hmm. both of them and see what grows. So we're going to get nice Okay, I just know there. right now the water bottle is going to be super nasty, mm -hmm. we're right? We're going to get all up in there and see what comes out of there. And so when are we going to get the results for this? And so in two days, we'll check back in and I'll show you guys what grows. And I can bet it's going to be a lot worse than that. Ooh. Mm. Okay. And then I, I hear Chris the calling lunch in box. Right. Your Friday. <laughs> and with good reason. Right. <laughs> The lunch box, we're swabbing all in there. So that's really how you did your own test on your own child. Yes, you guys, that lunch was my box. own I have a child's question. lunch box. Is there anything there, about so. these uh, with this kind of fabric and these zippers that kids tend to use now that is uh, worse than the old school metal lunch boxes that we used to use? Right. I used to have a metal one too. Yeah, and me too. those are a lot easier to clean. I think that you can put soap and water and run that under. The regular kitchen sink. So to me, that's actually more sanitary. These, because they're fabric, you're never really going to put that under the sink. So unless you're tossing this in the laundry, which you should be doing, guys, once a week in the laundry with your really? kitchen towels. Don't do it with like your underwear and stuff. Have you ever done this? That? Is like have you ever laundered your? Lunch that is cold? exactly how you can help to keep it yeah. clean. That's right. the best way. So now I will say I did switch from this kind to like a, a plastic. Um, it looks like a lunch bag. Mm -hmm. You know and what I'm saying? Roll it down. And it yeah. rolls mm -hmm. down, and so that is easier to clean because you you don't have any problem just putting it in under the sink. Right. Yeah. You know I mean? Under exactly. the water. I don't. So anything that you can actually submerge in water, warm soapy water, that's going to be a better option for you than these really fancy ones that you never kind of want to worry about the shape and distorting it because you need to be able to toss that into the sink Once or into to the laundry machine. And what's the key with the water bottles? Because I feel like obviously a lot of people carry around water bottles and I do in this in that case I do understand the need for us not to put so many plastic water, you know, sure. bottles of in course. landfills and stuff like that. Mm -hmm. So what's the key there? I think the reusable water bottle is definitely great for the environment and we should all be using that, but cleaning it 
efficiently and frequently is the most important thing. So put this in the dishwasher. There's a sanitized cycle. Even if you don't sanitize, putting in the dishwasher will help it because that high heat kills everything and it makes it a lot cleaner. These small crevices is where mold yeah. accumulates. Like how often? Like I every would, time you use every it? Every day, or, right? I would probably recommend doing at least every couple of days and then Holiday. rinsing it out with soap, soapy water before reusing it for the next day. So. Chris, remember, you got to rinse this out with warm, soapy water before you put it in for the next day. The problem, though, is... I think it's only been sitting on his desk for a couple months. I, I, saw, it, I saw it two months ago. The problem is all of this little stuff up there, getting the straw it's clean, clean. It, the yeah. whole thing yeah. is really hard yeah. to and do. And just so you guys know, all of these parts are removable in this type of thing. So you oh, should be separating all of this, pulling this out, and running the warm, soapy water through there. It's or just, just use the kind Dr. that... She'll be using right. I do. <laughs> I got to do you. better for the environment. You are, so but these, this is inconvenient either. That's true. Right. By next Monday, these will be. Are you, yeah, are you coming in back two earlier? Days, in two Wednesday, days, Wednesday. I'm going to okay. take You're a picture come back? and I'm okay. going to show you guys, and then you guys can show it to everybody watching. And then we'll report. So you guys can get even more scared <laughs> we'll about what's there. Chris's cam and his face will be green. Right. <laughs> <laughs> Thank All you, right. Shelby. That's we appreciate great, it. Great advice. No problem. Yeah, it is. <laughs> All right, I'm totally grossed out now. Yeah, yeah me too. Right? Sorry, yeah. Chuck. Sorry. I'm going to take a